Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here. Welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an eye scanner. Now, these have been done in the past before, but many of them are already broken, or you have to use a command block to make it work. Now, what I did was I used a creeper to make this thing work, so it only works in survival, because what we're going to be doing is luring a creeper over. It's going to activate a pressure plate, which is going to open up our door, and then the water will push him back. But now, since we are using a creeper, it will sometimes open the door on its own, but don't worry, the water will just push it back, and the door will end up closing anyway. But it is a very simple concept all we have to do now is just walk up to our eye scanner the creeper will walk over thus opening up our door so let's go ahead and go up to it and now we go ahead and walk through our door once it opens up and then once it closes and we're done doing whatever we have to do in here all we have to do is click this button right up here it will reopen our door and we can go ahead and walk through now you don't have to use the door that i used here you can use whatever door you'd like but i'm going to be using the exact same resources for everything that i used here so let's go ahead and just do it one more time then we can look at the redstone so walk up the creeper will see us and then walk over once the door opens up we can go ahead and walk through it and then once we are done doing what we have to do click the button again open our door and walk on out so let's go ahead and look at the red zone very very simple concept there is our creeper right there so let's see if he's aggro to me already so let's see if i move this way he'll follow me hit that pressure plate right under here it will then open up this open the water and it will push him backwards so he gets off of the pressure plate very very simple concept so let's go ahead and start building this thing so for this build you're going to need a four by eight spacing and then that little three by three section to the left hand side is where the door is going to be going now like i said you can use whatever door you want you don't have to use the door that i'm going to be building now the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons one normal piston four redstone repeaters two redstone torches 11 redstone one wooden button one stone pressure plate we're also going to need two glass three stone slabs a bucket of water one creeper we're also going to need a name tag this is so our creeper does not despawn because if it despawns then your eye scanner is not going to work anymore and then for the eye scanner itself we're going to need one iron trap door an item frame an eye of ender and a paint all right guys so once you have gotten your spacing and gathered up all your resources i also forgot to mention the red stain clay right down there is where your wall is going to be so right here is going to be your wall so let's go ahead and start building the eye scanner first so we're going to come right here to the bottom left hand corner of our eight by four spacing and we're going to place a three by three walling with no block in the middle so one two three one two three one two three and then another block right here and this is where our eye scanner is going to be going now off of any one of these blocks go ahead and place in your iron trap door next up we are going to go into sneak mode and place in an item frame right here with our eye vendor inside of it now you can do whatever you'd like here you don't have to use the item frame in the eye vendor i think it just works well because it has eye in the name of it next up we're going to swing over here to this side go into sneak mode and place a painting right here it has to be a one high painting the reason why i do this is just so when you look from this side you don't see the creeper or anything from this side but we can't use a full block there because the creeper has to be able to see us and since the painting is not really a block he can see us through the painting Next up, we're going to come to this side, and we're going to go all the way down our line of eight blocks with a row of blocks. So let's count the first one first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to come over three blocks. One, two, three. And then we're going to go back this way with eight blocks as well. And then we're going to do that one more time. This is just so the creeper cannot escape the area. So there we go. And then right here, we're going to add another block right here. And then another block right up here now the reason why we have to do that is because we need to have at least two blocks in between us and the creeper or the creeper will explode so make sure you get that block in there because like i said if it's only one block away from us if the creeper goes right here it will explode everything so just make sure you have a two gap between you and the creeper so to get things started off with our redstone what we're going to do is come right here and place a stone pressure plate closest to the scanner then we're going to break the block to the left of it and place a piece of redstone right in here so when the creeper hits it it will activate the redstone so let's swing over here to this side now, and we're going to place another piece of redstone coming out here. And then going to where the front of our scanner is, we're going to place a block right here with a piece of redstone on top of it. Place a slab right here above it, upside down. Place another piece of redstone here. Then we're going to place another slab upside down right here with another piece of redstone on top of that one. And then place a block up right here with another slab upside down with another piece of redstone on top of it. So now our slabs should be completely done. So let's go ahead and get rid of our slabs. Next up, what I want you to do is come out another block right here from your slab and then come down a block and place two pieces of redstone right here. Now we're going to come back to this because right here is where our door is going to be going. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you want to change out the door, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to be building the same exact door that I did over there. Next up, what we're going to do is come out three blocks from this slab right here. So one, two, three. Then we're going to come up a block right next to this redstone with a redstone torch coming off the side of it. 
Next up, place a repeater coming out of that redstone torch. So go ahead and grab your repeaters coming out of this redstone torch on four ticks delay. Now, if you feel like you need more of a delay so your door stays open a longer time, all you have to do is add more repeaters here. The more repeaters you add here, the longer your door will stay open. But I only used four repeaters. So next up, we're going to place a block right in front of our repeater and one block over. Place two pieces of redstone here. One, two. And then we're going to swing back this way three blocks. So one, two, three. Then take out your repeaters and place three repeaters going back this way and set them all to four ticks delay. So like I said before, the more repeaters you have here, the longer your door will stay open. Next up, we're going to come right over here, take out your normal piston and place a piston right here. It should extend out. Now we're going to go ahead and place in our water. So go ahead and take out your blocks of choice and place one right here because I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this with the door opened up or not, depending on how high you have your ceilings. Next up, we're going to place a block right above your block of choice here, a block right above your piston, and then another block right here. Take out your water bucket and place it right above your extended piston like that. So now that our eye scanner is set up, we're going to go ahead and place in our door. Now, like I said, you can use whatever door you want here, but I'm just going to be building the exact same one that I did over there. So we're going to place a block up right in front of that redstone, place a redstone torch off the side of it. Then we're going to come down a block underneath your redstone and then one over and place a piece of redstone right here. Then right underneath this block, we're going to place in two sticky pistons this way. So one, two, and they should both activate and then go ahead and place in your glass blocks right in front of them. Next up, place a block right above it right here. And then we're going to place another row of blocks around it just like that and do the same thing on this side so we can't see any of the redstone. Just place it all the way around it. You know, let me go ahead and change this out as well. Then we're going to come over here to this side and place a piece of redstone right here next to this block that has a redstone torch with our button on the side of it. So now we can open up the door from this side. So when we click the button, it will give us way more than enough time to leave our door. Now all we have to do is add in our creeper and we will be completely done. So this part's probably going to be the hardest part because you have to get a creeper in here, but there's many ways to get your creeper in here. But since I'm on creative, it's much easier for me. So all you have to do is just get a creeper in any part of these blocks and then go ahead and take out your name tag and make sure you name tag your creeper or else it will despawn and we don't want that to happen. If it despawns, then your eye scanner will well break. And that is it guys, you are completely done. So I went ahead and I switched it to survival really fast so I could show you that everything is working. So all you have to do is just walk up to your eye vendor right here. The creeper will walk up to you the door will open up and we can go ahead and walk through it and then once the water pushes them away the door will close and then you can do whatever you'd like in here it's completely up to you but when you're ready to leave just click the button right here it will open up your eye scanner door and then you can go on your merry little way and there you guys have it that is how you build an eye scanner if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys boop peace